extreme. Them games, extreme. Shit we see, extreme. Hey. You wanna know about corruption? Hey. Well, listen to what hey. I see. An algorithmic hey. money making, taking fun hey. fucking scheme. And if hey. you let it, you'll get it. Hey. It'll gut you to you bleed. Hey. A lot of y'all get fucked hey. by the fucking yet you think it's free. Hey. Yeah, it's hey. me. We're a team. We're hey. extreme. What's up, y'all? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Extreme Gains family? I'm Chuck, and this is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. Today is Sunday, fun day, fun day, Sunday, November 27th, 2022, and this is my AMC, GME, and SPY weekly update and preparation video for tomorrow and beyond. As always, I hope y'all had a great end of the week in the market last week. More importantly, I hope you made some extreme gains for yourselves. I'm going to go over all my regulars, my snake elgo method for all three tickers, some macro comparatives, and some side-by-side -side projections from last week's Sunday weekly update and prep video, and the fulfillment of those projections with all of last week's price action. So with all of that said, let's dig in. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope y'all had a great holiday weekend as well. We are back at it tomorrow for Monday, November 28th. We will be trading into a new month this week as of Thursday, December 1st. So that should be interesting as well. Like I said, the update and prep video that I last put out was last week on Sunday for the weekly update and prep. So as far as the projection and fulfillment side by sides, that's what I will be drawing them from as the projection. And then obviously the fulfillment will encompass all of last week's price action. So with all that said, like I've already said once, let's dig in. All right, currently on your screen is AMC and my current intro week snake. AMC finished the day on Friday, regular trading hours, down 1.7%, and then up 0.4% in after hours, ending the week trading at 7.54. The current intraweek snake that I have been tracking is on your screen in red. That is the day prior to the previous divergence from and completion of fulfillment of the previous intraweek snake in blue that you see on your screen and in its straight up position you can see that price action has continued to fulfill it as it was projecting here's the side by side from sunday's weekly update and prep video from last week the location of price action within it the projection from it and the dead on fulfillment of it with all of last week's price action you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it in this straight up position now we have also been looking at and tracking this in its mirrored position and here is the mirrored position of it and likewise the continued fulfillment of it as well here's the side by side from sunday's weekly update and prep video from last week the location of price action within it, the projection from it, and the continued dead-on fulfillment of it. You can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it in the mirrored position. Now, from a technical perspective, the levels have remained the same. I am still looking at the exact same levels that I have previously been looking at and talking about in the previous update and prep videos i'll be looking at a significant level of resistance breach to the upside of 790 that 790 breach should bring nine bucks maybe a little north of nine bucks 920 roughly however a rejection off of that for a push back downside i'll be looking for that 680 macro neckline to act as support if that were to breach as well to downside then i'll be looking at the 547 critical level of support as the next level down and that is everything from that perspective on amc here's the macro comparative as most if not all of you know i have been tracking the macro double bottom from prior to the january 2021 run-up for a year now on the channel and we have continued to consistently fulfill that projected suggested macro path 
and where we are within that currently is right there as you see it on your screen and you can see the continued fulfillment of it as it was projecting all of last week here is the side by side from last sunday's weekly update and prep video the location of price action within it the projection from it and the dead on continued fulfillment of it as it was projecting with all of last week's price action you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it and that's everything that i am looking at with amc up next is gme gme finished the day on friday regular trading hours down 1.99 percent and then even steven in after hours ending the week trading at 26 17. the current intraweek snake that i am tracking on your screen in blue is the day of the previous divergence and completion of fulfillment of the previous intraweek snake and you can see that it has likewise continued to fulfill its projection dead on with all of last week's price action as it was projecting here is the side by side from last sunday's weekly update and prep video the location of price action within it the projection from it and the continued fulfillment of it with last week's price action you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it in this position now with this one i did have to horizontally extend this a little bit from left to right and for obvious reasons you can see the two tops that it was projecting and then likewise the two tops that we ended up receiving with price action and that is the horizontal extension that i did give this and you can see where that would put us within that with it as far as the technical levels that i am looking at again likewise to amc they are all still the same as they previously were i'm looking at that macro ascending level of support to hold support internally here if that were to breach around the 26 dollar level to downside i'd be looking at the significant level of support of 25 25 if that were to breach i'll be looking at the 2170 critical level of support back to the upside i'll be looking for a breach of the 2780 to upside if the ascending level of support were to hold that support level for that move back upside then a breach of that and i'll be looking at the 2980 macro neckline back upside for eventually potentially that next leg up as this intro week snake is currently showing keep in mind this current intro week snake has now projected and fulfilled that projection for three entire weeks now so a diversion of any type from this current intro week snake will be considered exactly that a divergence and a new set of intro week snakes will then be clipped and reviewed here on the channel so that is everything that i am looking at with gme last but not least is spy spy finished the day on friday regular trading hours down 0.02 percent and then down an additional 0.08 percent in after hours ending the week trading at 40201 the current set of three intraweek snakes that i have been tracking are on your screen the red the orange and the blue the red in its position has continued to fulfill its projection absolutely dead on candle for candle you can see where we are at within that and the continued fulfillment of it here's the side by side from last sunday's weekly update and prep video the location of price action within it the projection from it and like i said the dead on 100 percent candle for candle fulfillment of it with all of last week's price action you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it then we have the orange one and in its position it has likewise continued to fulfill its projection dead on here is the side by side from last sunday's weekly update and prep video the location of price action within it the projection from it and the continued dead on fulfillment of it with all of last week's price action you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it and then we have the blue which would only be a day of divergence right day of day prior to and either or 
dependent upon the combination that this identifies moving forward. Once we get a definitive divergence from one of them. And here is the position of the blue that we discussed last week as well. And you can see the continued fulfillment of it. Now we have flattened off up here away from that downside move. So obviously in this position, I'm expecting that if it were to continue to fulfill this, but you can see the continued fulfillment of it as it was projecting. Here's the side by side from last Sunday's weekly update and prep video, the location of price action within it, the projection from it, and the continued dead on fulfillment of it with all of last week's price action. Like I just said, you can see what the projection is from it. Moving forward into tomorrow and beyond, if price action were to continue to fulfill the blue one moving forward. Now, obviously, that looks like we may get some definitive direction and distinction between the set of three intraweek snakes going into this week. At least that's how it looks to me at the moment. And then last but not least is the macro comparator from the 2008 2009 correction and crash and i'm going to use spx for this here is a clean chart of that 0809 macro comparative on our current spx chart and let's go daily on daily here because that was the clip so we got a daily clip on current daily price action there's the 30,000 foot view in its straight up position and you can see where we are currently at within that and what that projection would be from it if it were to continue to fulfill it in its straight up position an obvious downside move just like the blue intraweek snake is showing however we did discuss this potentially being in the mirrored position we have been tracking this as well in its mirrored position so there is the mirrored position of it and likewise our position within that the 30,000 foot view and you can see what the projection would be from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it in its mirrored position from a technical level perspective on spy the levels likewise still remain and are intact as of they were as the same as they were last week i'm having a hard time spitting that out my bad so i was looking at the top up neckline down the top up was the 40360 and that is currently where we have stayed with friday's um i guess limited volume price action for that holiday weekend entrance and that is where we're currently at just underneath that so a breach of that to upside and i'll be looking for a move up to around the 408 409 where the macro descending level of resistance the red line currently is and then back downside if that were to follow through with that rejection back downside the next level down that i'll be looking at will be the 399.50 and then a breach of that and i'll be looking for a move down to 394.65 that is everything that i am looking at with amc gme and spy moving into this week specifically tomorrow and beyond if you made it to the end of the video thank you all very much i appreciate it if you would smash the like button on your way out leave me a comment let me know how your thanksgiving was and how the end of the week treated you i didn't trade if you did hopefully you had a good day in the market on friday i will get an update and prep video out tuesday after market close like always and likewise like always i will be live streaming wednesday right here on the youtube channel and on the twitch channel starting at 9 a.m eastern until market close set a reminder don't forget about it come by hang out with us all that good stuff i hope to see you all then good luck in the markets tomorrow make some extreme gains for yourselves and i will talk to you all on the next one enjoy what's left of your sunday fun day talk to you all then later